Hey guys, Joe here with another video today on the Fluval Evo 12, but before I get into that, I do have a little bit of a story time, a little bit of a catastrophic uh, story, so please bear with me on this one. It's hard to talk about. Okay, it's really not that hard to talk about, but I did purchase an anemone, yes, a green bubble anemone, but you don't see it in here, and for one reason why, and that was a big rookie mistake. Now, I don't know if I have any rights calling that a rookie mistake, given I am still a rookie, but a rookie mistake on my half, so let's get into the story a little bit. I went to one of my favorite fish stores here in New Jersey uh, called Tropicorium up in Ocean, New Jersey. Um, and I walked in and I saw the green bubble anemones. Now, I had no intentions of buying one that day, but I was walking around checking all the tanks like I normally do. It's about an hour ride for me, so I like to take time and look around in there. I saw the anemones in the tank and I was like thinking to myself, I was like, wow, that's a really cool uh, little creature. I started talking to one of the guys there and he said I'd probably be okay putting it in my tank. And so I purchased it. I think it was like 30 bucks, real affordable. Um, so I took him home. I got him home along with a couple of other corals, but we'll get to that in the review. Um, but got him in, got him acclimated, and plopped him in. Kind of got him where he wanted to, or where I wanted him to be. But he had other ideas for that night, or the following night, I should say. But got him in the tank, got him his foothold. And the next morning, I had to go to work early. So I left early, I checked on the tank like I always do before work and I get a text message and it is of my clownfish, my maroon clownfish, hosting in it. Did not expect somebody to host in it that fast. I was very, very surprised. I was very happy, all giggity inside, all happy. I was awesome, couldn't wait to get home to see this. And so I finally get off work, get home, come check it out, everything's fine. Maroon was hosting in it, he was loving it, I was loving it, the anatomy looked great. It had a really uh, strong foothold in one of the rocks, and everything was fine. Um, the only exception was, actually, my two clowns started fighting after that, um, and they normally don't really fight. The only time they ever really fought was when I first introduced them, and I separated them for uh, a couple weeks um, and let their uh, battle scars heal. And after that, I reintroduced them, and they were fine. Once I introduced the anemone, they started getting nasty with each other. The I guess the almost naked clown got jealous the maroon clown had an enemy, so he came over to the other side of the tank, which he never goes over there. Goes over there and starts picking on him, starting fights, and just being a jerk. They kind of settled their beef out a little bit and went back to their sides for the night. And before I went to bed, I looked over my tank and my enemy was letting go a little bit, so of course I've read and watched a hundred videos about it, and everyone says the same thing. Uh, the bubble the bubble and enemy will move, so I was expecting it. I was like, it's fine, let him do his thing. Um, I'll keep checking on him throughout the night and see how he's doing. So I fall asleep, of course I don't get up. And I wake up that morning and my tank is cloudy. <sighs> so what really happened was I did not cover my power head. I should have known better, but I didn't put a uh, sponge filter around it to keep it uh, an enemy safe in a sense. He got sucked up into it and chopped up and it was it was really upsetting. I did I thought I was gonna have a great little scene enemy in here. He already had the clownfish hosting, everything was going smoothly, he was he was looking great. And he got chopped up. And I feel like an idiot for it, but I guess it was a lesson well learned. I've learned from my mistakes if you're getting your first anemone, cover your your uh your power heads with a sponge filter or a red pantyhose, whatever you get a cover to make it an enemy safe. Um, and don't make the mistake I made because it is devastating, especially if you have a clownfish that hosts on it immediately. It, it sucks to see. So, learn from me, learn from the rookie mistake, and cover your power heads. Make an enemy safe. I take the power head out, I remove the enemy very carefully, um, but there was no saving him. He was. He was gone. He was he was chopped up in that that powerhead pretty bad. So, a couple tips for if this ever happens to you, and take this video as a warning. Cover your powerheads. When the sea enemies die, they release a toxin into the tank. So my tank was cloudy. It was real milky cloudy. It was it was gross. I could smell it. It was it was awful. So. I didn't have much water on hand to make water, but I had three gallons of. Um, purified water on hand to make a do a quick water change so I did that 
and kind of prayed for the best. Everybody looked fine. My coral survived, but that that water change probably was is super crucial. I wish I did a little bit more looking back, but everything's fine right now. It's it's been uh, two days aftermath that, and I added a. Um, overhang or hang on a back filter with a bunch of carbon pouches in there too to help uh, get all the nasty stuff out what carbon does um, so I pretty much just shoved that all with carbon and hope and it's filtering out well water's clear I haven't tested yet which I should have all right so that story time's over and before I get into my tank update I just want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to me commented give me a thumbs up on my videos it means a lot to me I'm trying to make this a big part of my hobby experience now as being my first saltwater tank. Um, and so far, I've had a lot, a lot of great advice coming from everybody. Everyone's been saying really great things to me. Um, and I do appreciate it. I do check it every day. And I try to respond to everybody um, and give advice back to people. And that's what this hobby is really about, is just helping out each other. And it's part of the reason why I make these videos. And just for people who are starting out just like me and just don't know simple answer to things or just small tips that I can give that people can pick on and learn from my mistakes like my previous story about my anemone um, and that's what my channel is really going to be about but anyway thank you again I can't appreciate it enough so keep commenting keep talking to me that's my favorite part <laughs>